Hey Exiles, how are we doing? We're back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? Okay, so I'm going to run into the dungeon today. Haven't been there for a while. Plus I want to uh, farm some clay. Need some clay bars as we always do. So I'm going to get right into it and yeah, we'll have a bit of a chat. Um, I'll let you know what I've been up to as well. You know, as you probably would have noticed on the channel, some of my um, videos have been on the leaner side. So I've actually taken some time off just to sort of relax for a little bit for a couple of weeks and just sort of, you know, not um, just sort of wanted to have a bit of a time break from work plus uh, doing other things as well and just sort of getting things done around the house, you know, how it is. So look, you know, from time to time, you do need that. You, need, you do need a little bit of a break just to sort of, you know, recharge the, the old batteries as they, as they say. But anyway, I thought I'll pop up a video today. I'll take you guys through the dungeon with me as well. And yeah, so I'm just interested to know how you guys are going with the whole PVP. So I know that's been a bit of a hot topic, a sore topic, depending on how, whichever way you guys look at it. Um, for myself, as you guys would have seen um, from the initial video that I did, um, yeah, quite the video. But uh, since then, I've actually been able to disable my PvP, so I have uh, switched it off. So now that won't be a thing for me to worry about. Um, and that's probably a bit of the other reason why I didn't want to sort of play too much with PvP or the game itself unfortunately until I finished off my um, my seven days um, before yeah before that happened and I really didn't want to lose too much more items or if I got raided again kind of thing you know obviously not knowing exactly what was going to happen if I were to sort of leave my items behind I ended up actually leaving them on my um, my player plus my um, my horse just to make sure that all of my um, non-craftable and rare items were uh, safe. And I think that's probably the, the smartest thing I probably could have done, to be honest with you. So ended up doing that and hadn't, you know, had any sort of issues or anyone raiding me up until the very last day, which a little annoyed about, wouldn't have been as annoyed if it happened right away, say, you know, the next day or so, or even up to three days, but it happened, so I pretty much lost all the items that I didn't uh, recover through the token uh, recovery system, which was a bit of a pain, and yeah, it is what it is, so lost some good armor, um, some champion armor, so two-star armor champion, and the rogue set as well complete set i might add for both of those so two star on both of them which is a bit of a pain but as i said you know in the video when i did make it i wanted to show you guys what the full extent and the ramifications that could have led to it if you did not protect your base if you just left it as it is so it happened and i wore the the consequences so is what it is guys and I have noticed it as well throughout the um, throughout the week. There's been a lot of posts from a lot of players not wanting to participate in the PvP, which is fine um, for obvious reasons as well. And I think a lot of the issues is, and I think a lot of people are coming to the realization that it may or may not be. Um, but a lot of people are thinking that the the whole PvP system, I actually take all that, um, all of it will be the uh, the random loot mechanic, which look I feel that it is a bit off. I mean personally, I don't think it should be a thing in the first place. It should more or less be only if you lose whatever chest that you lose would be the items that should go into the loss. Uh, system or the recovery system or predominantly whatever um, chests that are taken away from your base from the raider that should be the only things or the only items that should uh, be lost and that may go hand in hand with the recovery system with the amount of tokens required to recover some of those lost items especially if you limit yourself to the amount of um, uh, chests or 
But what or items in general really what are supposed to be um, looted in the first place as opposed to what you can get looted or what you can lose. So I sort of emphasize, you know, the amount of chests that can be lost. That should be the only things that you should lose. And then, you know, as they are at the moment, the um, the whole token system should be, you know, left as it is. The amounts that you need to spend to recover those items. That would be my suggestion or, you know, have a whole completely slightly different mechanic possibly pulling out the whole randomized mechanic system because I don't think that's probably the best thing at the moment and a lot of people do agree and I did cover this in my conclusion video that I made as well so there has been a few videos with the whole PvP update but it's been one of those hot topics and I really don't want to sort of miss out on you know information that I want to give to you guys and you know discussions that I want to have with you guys as well so I figure that's probably the best way to sort of talk about it you know in different videos you don't want to make like a, a massive video and talk about it because I mean let's face it I mean we, we don't have you know all the time in the world to sit down and just watch for a video that could take 30 40 minutes possibly even 50 you know just to sort of get every sort of nook and cranny out of the way and just sort of explain you know from one one person's perspective on what they think about it or what they feel about it I yeah I just don't think it's worth it to be honest so that's why I sort of went and sort of you know spoke about certain things from time to time there might be some things that I might overlap as well so it happens so look it is what it is anyway I'll grab some of those but otherwise yeah look guys I've, I've switched it off for now I do plan on going back to PvP eventually and the first thing I want to do essentially is to get the base properly prepared. Um, I'm not too sure exactly how I'll, I want to do it. I want to do it in such a way that it sort of looks okay, but doesn't look too overbearing at the same time. But I'm thinking about one thing and I'm probably thinking that's probably going to be the way to go for me. Um, just in the way that I think I should do it. But anyway, I'll work it out and we'll you know you guys will get to take a look at it eventually so that'll happen soon enough but it might take some time um and it'll take time once i get my resources up um the way that i want to sort of fit it out that's probably where i'm sort of looking at at the moment and also you know get enough tokens um through the salvage um workstation to you know get enough tokens to essentially yeah get enough um uh spawners so you know i can have traps wherever i need to without any problems but a lot of people are sort of alluding to the fact that it doesn't matter how many spawners you have doesn't matter how many defenses that you may set up it's never ultimately going to be enough and i do agree with that point uh to a degree there's really not too much or so much that you can really only do to prevent from you know from someone to get into a base if someone wants to get it want to get in they're going to get in you know one way or another it's going to happen and you're going to lose items it is you know that's how it's going to go i mean this is what you've essentially signed up for when you opt in to go into pvp you know at the expense of losing some of your items you may get items in return that may be more beneficial to you um i get a lot of people have hoarded a lot of their um you know their loot drops and things like that so look it, it's fine to a point before you have to sort of make a call do you want to keep you know running pvp do you want to opt out or you don't do it at all and that's the call that you guys need to make i mean you can still play the exact same game as it is without having to worry about anyone you know t targeting your base so long as it's switched off or you don't build the workstation at all for it to you know to qualify for the whole pvp uh side of things so yeah i mean take it as you see it guys i i feel that you know it's there to be used if you don't use it you don't use it that's how i see it but with that being said i mean i know a lot of people are sort of you know concerned about it some people have gone on to say that it could be a possible glitch, the whole random uh, 
uh, you know, losing of items in your base if you if even the raider had not even gone into those certain areas and they have essentially stolen or sorry, some items have been lost. Um, that is, you know, reasons for um, concern for a lot of people. So, um, you know, as I demonstrated in my initial video when I did do the whole raiding system um, and got into it, you know, I lost over 200 items, um, and yeah, obviously wasn't happy about it, but, you know, that's what I signed up for. And the amount of uh, tokens required to recover a lot, of the, a lot of those items is quite excessive at the moment, which I think that should be in the needance of some sort of rebalance or retuning before, you know, a lot of people sort of re-adopt the whole PvP thing again. But there's a few things to do and look granted you know no one's perfect you know when when a game or when an update is implemented so you know this is where it comes back to the whole feedback side of things as well so once you know the the whole pvp thing is sort of out for a little while and the developers can actively see you know how many people are actually doing pvp if there's an issue they might address it or if PvP was primarily made there for people as a uh, an incentive to uh, you know to start using, and depending on you know your game level and your status, that's entirely up to you if you decide that you want to commit and opt in. I mean, and I said it before, and I'll probably say it again: the PvP structure to me feels like it's all of an end game style basis that we use the PvP system if we're an end gamer. Um, or if we've really, and I mean really, um, uh, secured our base to a point where we don't have to worry or we're not really worried about what we lose. I think it's probably another way of saying it or putting it. I think that would probably be a fair, um, fair judgment and assessment on it. Um, that's just my opinion. Everyone has their own opinions and are most definitely entitled to that opinion. So, yeah, guys, I just think... It's just something that we sort of have to sort of take for now. And it could always change. So, and what I mean by end game, and I mean that specifically to people that have played the game for quite a, you know, quite a long period of time. And they're at a point where that they've either have, um, you know, accomplished pretty much everything that the game has to offer at this moment until new updates and new additions get added into the game then that becomes a different um you know a ball game for everyone not only for that person but for everyone else as well because the national progression of things will happen and there's the new features and things that we can play with and i think that's really important to know that you know if pvp was for everyone or it was friendly for everyone everyone would be raiding everyone and it there'll be a massive saturation to to everything where that where um, that we either get bored with it or you know it's just something that people will still evidently turn off at the beginning anyway so yeah I just feel that you know for now we sort of got to take it as it is if if there is an actual issue with the system then I'm hoping and I'm sure that the developers may attention everything address it and hopefully we can move on from it and um, look to the newer and improved version of you know the pvp system but i guess that's pretty much a lot that i sort of want to get out of the way um, especially due to the fact that you know we're not going to be receiving updates as you know as uh, common as we have in the past as well so you know another thing to sort of look at as well so you know when they do these sort of updates they'll do them to a point where there's a lot more content coming out in one sort of foul swoop they'll do their two stage uh update release they'll do the soft release of the foundation of everything and then once it's all settled in then they'll update and add everything else accordingly and basically that's how they've done it for the last few months and i feel it's you know a good way of doing it um, you know, there's no right or wrong way of, you know, putting out updates, especially if there's going to be problems with those updates. So I think that's probably a good thing to sort of note as well. Oop. That's what I want to click. Okay. And who have we got? We've got another giant lava golem. 
got to be careful down here as well because I do use a lot more um, uh, uh, thirst as well so I might just try conserve it be more conservative I should say but we're pretty much at the, the the final part of this but like I said what does it sort of take you long today have a bit of a, a walkthrough haven't done the dungeon in such a long time as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed the dungeon run today so that's uh, okay leave that there now you may notice I am leaving purposely some of the scrolls behind I'm actually gonna go back and grab a lot of these as well I'll do that off camera so you guys don't have to you know worry about that I really want to get some of the clay uh, taken home with me and I'll come back for the scrolls and they look like some pretty decent scrolls so hopefully I'll learn a few things as well uh, new things I hope uh, not relearning naturally but we'll see how we go with that anyway but yeah guys I'm gonna throw it back to you guys let me know your thoughts about the whole PvP thing um, something that you guys have you know decided to opt out against and not participate whatsoever um, was it because of my video that you guys had seen was it because of other external elements let me know um, but yeah guys really interested to know your thoughts about the whole thing um, but also look guys um, the best way that you can help me out with any one of my videos or all of my videos for that matter is make sure that you go ahead and hit the like button uh, will really help me out a lot especially going through the recommended um, page as well through YouTube just so my videos are seen and you know obviously what more people to see my videos and and hopefully that will enable my channel to grow a little bit more capture more more of an audience for more people to see these sort of things as well you know I don't want to sort of be um, you know capturing the same amount of people which is not a bad thing don't get me wrong but what I'm sort of trying to say is you know as the game advances and not only this game but other games that I might be playing making sure that I've got a wider audience for you guys um, and new people alike to come through and enjoy hopefully and hopefully you guys do enjoy my content enough to go ahead and do that for me if you guys can share on on any one of your you know social media platforms that would be always much appreciated um, and that's going way over and above as well so I would be much appreciative of that anyway I think we've nearly satisfied everything here so I'm just gonna quickly finish off these guys and pick up the pieces but I think I'm missing quite a number of these guys let me just move about and take you out yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm missing quite a number of you guys. So usually I get a lot more clay coming into here. Or far more clay. Let's just take that. And whoops, let's just grab this. And see what I get from this one. And I was kind of hoping that I'll have some sort of different loot drops and things like that as well. So yeah. Unfortunately, not so much. It's all the usual bits and pieces, but I'm, I am getting some decent scrolls, but I can already see that some of these scrolls I've already got before, so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm gonna mainly use them for the EXP challenge as well. Um, and just on that, I mean, I know I've neglected um, quite considerably my clan, which is probably not the best thing to say, but um, there's just been so many things going on as well and I just haven't had the the natural ability to uh, be active with my clan and go ahead with the challenges and things like that and I think we've had this discussion before that we've had a lot of issues with the um, with what type of rewards are available with the clans and if you're not in in a clan where a, a lot of your players are actively on it where they they pretty much um, build up a workstation, break it down, build it again, and so on and so forth. And they just keep doing that in that sort of um, repetitive notion every single time that there is the XP challenge in particular. 
um, that we're always always going to get the same type of level of items or the same spec of items. You may get lucky, we might have a good run, and you might get you know um, the next tier up, or or you might not. So um, I am going to sort of look back on my clan and see what I need to do to help improve it. And sort of delegate a little bit more time for myself to the clan. I know I haven't been doing it for a while. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, focus shift from time to time. And it does happen. There's only so much that one person can only do. If you're, especially in a position where you're, you know, um, committed to other games as well as, you know, this game. And that sort of divides your attention. Um, and that's comparing to other people that might be only focused on the one game, which is this game. So... Yeah, like I said, I haven't forgotten about it. It's just something that I've had to wind down for a little while now. But soon, hopefully, may get back into it. And yeah, we'll see how we go with it. But I think that's pretty much everything I had to collect from here. And I will grab some of the um, clay deposits up on the top there. But unfortunately, not the greatest amount. I don't need this. I'm just going to get rid of that. But I'm going to have to make a second run and grab all the... Um, all the scrolls as well but usually if you're lucky um, there are some cases that you get up to you know with the um, with the upstairs uh, clay deposits that you'll get up to 80 pieces of clay which is quite a lot as well which is a worthwhile run and sometimes you might only get you know up to 40 maybe 50 if you're lucky but anyway is what it is but appreciate you guys stopping by as always um, and watching the video but make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe button if you haven't done so already with the notification bell included. And drop a comment, guys. Have a chat with me. I try and respond to every comment as much as I can. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, take it easy and I'll catch you next time.